Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I've got an exciting video for us today and that is talking about six different companies that are my winners. So normally when we do up, uh, portfolio updates, we just go over quickly some of the companies. But what I would like to do this time differently is talk about the winners. So six different companies in today's video. The next one I'm going to talk about not so exciting, six different losers. And then I'm going to give you just a little bit of information each about each one of the companies. And then inshallah, I'll give you an entire portfolio, quick update, as well as the dividends that we get, um, we got for, in for the month of January. So that's the plan, inshallah. That's what we're going to do in the next couple of videos. But before, as usual, if you can join us in the Patreon account, that would be absolutely amazing. Where you get access to the buys and sells, everything else we're doing. You get access to the spreadsheets that I use. And of course, the disc access to the Discord, inshallah. Right, let's start with the video. So as usual, we are looking for the company names, the the year that I've added that company to the portfolio, because I think it's really important to know how long I've had these companies in this portfolio, just to kind of give you an idea of it's not just the fact that you buy it today, it goes to the moon tomorrow. It's usually sometimes you have to be patient. Although, the, you know, this portfolio is only four years old, okay, less than four years old, it will be four years in this year, um, May of this year. Um, still three years and a bit um, but yeah I just want to show you how long I have had some of the companies I want to talk about market cap I want to talk about the moat the moat gives these companies a protection if you like so their revenue is more or less protected if they have a wide moat and a, basically all of the companies that we're going to talk about today that do have that we're going to talk about the price the dividend side of things we're going to talk about how safe that dividend is we're going to talk about the profit margins return on equity return on invested capital again three important metrics there the free cash flow to see how much money this company has and if they can survive without actually going to the bank and get more money from the bank and paying off that dividend you know in increasing that dividend by buying back their own shares but basically investing in the business and all of that stuff and then total return in the last 10 years where has the company been in the last 10 years and does that give us an idea of hopefully it will give us an idea of where the company is heading in the next hopefully 10 years and then the growth estimate for next year so according to yahoo finance analysts so they've taken all the analyst predictions and they've given us an idea where the company might be for the next year and then every year after that for the following five years again just be in, uh, careful with this because it's just an estimate then we got the morningstar valuation so they use their discounted cash flow models to come up with some sort of evaluation for the company and they will tell us how much they think the price should be by the end of the year and for that reason we can just see basically take that of course always always do your margin of safety of if it's a safe company do five percent ten percent fifteen percent whatever you're comfortable with okay do that so let's have a look at the first company and the first company is visa visa i'm up i think about 900 plus and i'll show you inshallah at the end of the video i bought this company i added to the portfolio 24th of june 2020 so 2020 is when i actually added the company in june my it had basically has a current market cap of 557 billion it has a wide economic mode current price 277 dollars per share dividend yield just less than one percent again i'm not in the in the div basically this i'm not buying this company just for the dividends i'm buying it for the dividend growth side of things so hopefully by the time i get to another 10 years or so my dividend basically um my yield on cost will be way higher so in terms of dividends, absolutely amazing payout ratio of only 22%, latest increase of 16%, five-year growth rate of five, 16%, 15 years of increase in that dividend. They pay you $2.08, safety 99%, profit margin 53%, 46% in terms of return on um, equity, 34% in terms of uh, return on invested capital, which is absolutely amazing. amazing. Free cash flow, $19 billion, total return in the last 10 years, 8%, growth estimate next year is about 13%, 12 years out 12 percent after that for every year going forward fairly value right now 260 is where the price should be right now it's 277 so not too bad just to quickly show you again if you go to the earning side of it if you go to estimate what you will see is double digit growth in terms of eps and then single to double digit growth in terms of revenue side of it and just very quickly show you estimates for uh, prices about seven percent upside from where we are right now next company that we're looking at 
is Union Pacific, who thought basically a rail railroad company will be up that much. But I am up just over a thousand pounds, and I'll show you in a second, inshallah. I added this company August of 2020, so 26th of August. 2020 is when i added so 152 billion dollar market cap it has wide economic mode price right now 248 dollars per share dividend is actually quite nice over two percent rate payout ratio only 50 percent and latest increase i'm not sure what's happened there i think they probably has an increase basically talked about it recently I um, need to find out what's going on with that one. The, but the five-year growth rate is actually 11%. Dividend streak of 13, 17 years. So I don't think they're going to cut it anytime soon or stop it or not increase it. The annual payout is $5.20. Safety, 88%. Profit margin, 26%. Return equity, 47%. And return on invested capital of 15%. Free cash flow over uh, $4 billion, almost to $5 billion. Total return in the last 10 years, uh, we're looking about 13%. Ex expected to grow the earnings about 13%, then um, 10% after that. Now, 19% premium right now. This is one of the expensive companies that we have in this pop um, in this um, video. And the price, they're expecting the price to be about $209 per share. And going to seeking alpha, if we go to earnings and estimates, you can see it's single digit, double digit, again, another single in terms of EPS, 3%, 4%, which is basically what we can expect in this company in terms of moving forward, in terms of revenue side of things. And then when we look at the ratings for from um, Wall Street, it's flat right now. So $252 per share is where they think the price should be. It's about that right now if we look at that. Now, the next company we're looking at in this today is another company. I think I'm up over... Um, just the 1100 and so on right now i've added this company on the 15th of september 2020 and when i first did it, it was so undervalued i was buying it heavy every single week i talked about this as soon as the you basically i started this youtube thing this company was one of the companies i used to talk about a lot and it was so undervalued and right now look at it 23 um, percent uh, premium right now so 320 billion market cap it has wide economic more 126 dollars per share i was buying it when it was the 80s and 90s 126 dollars per share right now dividend yield 2.5 payout ratio of 93 percent which is very high but next year it comes back down to like i think about 18 percent latest increase is six percent the five-year growth rate of eight percent dividend streak of 11 years annual payout three dollars and eight cents safety 99 percent profit margin is not actually great right now but the return on equity is actually quite good and return on invested capital is not great either free cash flow about 13 percent right now total return in the last 10 years well looking about 11 percent growth estimate 14 percent growth estimate for the next 10 years uh, five years sorry is 10 percent and like i said earlier already 23 three percent premium right now 103 dollars per share is where the prices are now this is i'm gonna do a little bit more digging in this company for the next couple of days and see where the price basically what i'm gonna do with the company because i am up quite a bit and this is not great so there might be other opportunities out there where hopefully companies that are slightly cheaper so i can take that money off the table and hopefully buy another possibly a great company and see what happens however at the same time if the long term okay is actually looking better then i could potentially leave it alone and that's one of the things that you have to do as a um, stock picker of course you have to make those decisions sometimes so let's have a look at the earnings just to kind of get an idea. Okay, so 2024, 461%. So I think they acquired another business for that reason. That's probably why it's going up. Then double digits, then basically high single digits, which is not bad at all. And then 5%, 6% is basically what you expected basically from this company. As you can see, there's a lot of analysts looking at it. So the earnings, it looks like the revenue is going to come down from 63. Sorry, go up to 76 and then come down a little bit afterwards. So it'll be interesting to see why that's the case. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging, inshallah, and then I'll let you know. Um, in fact, just going back here, let's just check the price. Um okay about two percent three percent again another 129 dollars per share right now is about 126 so about three dollars from where we are right now right the next company we were looking at today is s p global i'm up over a thousand percent as well with this company this one was an actually long time ago so 28th of may 2021 is when i bought it first and at the time when i was buying it actually seemed quite expensive 
um, since then it's gone up quite a bit so right now the market caps 145 billion dollars it has a wide economic more 453 dollars per share is where the price is at right now dividend yield below one percent payout ratio only 30 percent latest increase was about 1.1 percent i think it was five year growth rate of 15 percent and they will become dividend king if they do one more raise okay if they increase that dividend one more year that will be they become a dividend king and all payout right now three dollars and 64 cents safety 99 percent profit margin 20 percent return on equity six percent return on invested capital eight percent which is fine free cash flow 3.3 billion dollars total return in the last 10 years we're looking at about 20 percent they expected the earnings to grow about 14% next year and then 14% every year after that. 16% premium, which I completely agree. $395 per share is where the price is, right? Uh, should be according to Morningstar. And looking at seeking alpha analysts. So if we go to Yahoo, uh, sorry, um, earnings estimate, you can see 13%, 14%. So double digits, which is quite nice. It's about 22, 22, 19 people looking at this, which is quite nice. So double digits in terms of EPS gross, which I, I am quite happy with. And then in terms of revenue side of it, what well, I expected this company, five, seven, eight percent every single year moving forward. So there's no issues with that rating side of things. If we look at what the Yahoo fi uh, Seeking Alpha is saying, it's about 5% growth um, upside from where we are now, $477 per share, 473 right now. That's the fourth company. The fifth company we're going to talk about today is ASML. This company was uh, bought it in June 2022 so it's a new edition out of all of them this is the newest if you like the newest the company in that portfolio in the portfolio 343 45 billion market cap it has a wide economic mode 889 dollars per share i wish they do um, split because i know a lot of people will probably be, be feel comfortable buying it in cheaper like because right now although you can buy a fractional shares which is what i've been doing it's also nice if it was actually slightly cheaper some of these companies are actually a little bit expensive look at this 400 and whatever so if they do split that would be really nice um dividend yield again is not there remember i'm not really just focusing on the dividend yield i'm thinking about the growth side of things as well this company i'm thinking about the growth in terms of the revenue in terms of the business and the capital gains if you like rather than just the dividends um but yeah for um, payout ratio 43 percent latest increase was six percent and the five years about 24 percent which is quite nice 14 percent 14 years of increasing that dividend six dollars and 32 is what you get eight to two percent safety 28 percent um, of profit margin return on equity almost to 70 percent and return on invested capital of 48 percent which is absolutely huge five and a half billion dollars of free cash flow 27 percent growth in the last 10 years 44 percent growth expected next year then 23 percent 19 percent premium right now 750 dollars per share is where the price is at right now and if we look at the earnings and go to estimate, you can see 2024, little bit of decline, 2025, 46%, then 22%, then 18, 19%, and then so on, so on. Okay, so not bad at all. I'm not concerned at all. 24%, so 2024, it looks like there's a bit of a decline. After that, it should bounce back and there shouldn't be any issues with that. Ratings moving forward. Um, if we look at this, you can see 23 strong buys, and right now it's a flat, so it's 876, 889 is where it's at. But as you can see, a lot of analysts are saying it's a buy, and then 12 of them said it's a hold. For that reason, it kind of balances, and then you've got a, a buy rating for this company right now. Now, moving on to the final company, I'm sure you knew about this one. This is Broadcom. Broadcom is one of the companies that I actually bought in December of 2020. $562 billion. Right now, I'll show you how much I'm up. You will be surprised. Wide economic, although I, I trimmed it recently, I, I'm still up quite a bit. Um, hundred one thousand, sorry, 226. Is this is another company that will genuinely benefit from a split. And now splits should not help the company go up. But I think it normally does that because psychologically people think it's cheaper now. Um, but of course, it, the split does not do anything to the financials of the business. So I, I don't think it would help at all um, in terms of the long run for investors. But for the company, it might just actually get a few customers on the, a few more investors on board. Right, dividend yield right now 1.7%, payout ratio 45%, 14% incre uh, increase in the latest increase, and five year growth rate of 19%, which is quite nice. Dividend streak of 13 years, increasing that dividend. 
you get $21 of basically for every share of this company that you own, which is huge. Safety, 67%. Profit margin, 93%. Return on equity, 60%. Return on investment, couple to 26%, which is absolutely amazing. And free cash flow, 17.6%. I bought more. I wish I bought more of this company when it was actually trading. The prices where I actually, I'll show you my target, um, average price. So you'll be surprised. Free cash flow right now over seventeen billion dollars. Total return the last ten years about thirty-seven percent. Total return and, t and growth estimate for the next years about twenty percent. Then thirteen percent after that. Twenty-four percent premium right now, which is absolutely huge. Nine hundred and seventy is where they think the price should be by the end of the year. Now let me quickly show you. So if we go to earnings and have a look at the estimates for the next few years, so double digits, which is absolutely huge, and then double digits when it comes for the next two years at least. So next year, almost 40% because of all this madness about AIs and so on. If we go to ratings and you can see 21% strong buys, you can see five buys and eight holes that gives us a buy rating. But right now, is about 4% downside from where we are, $1,171 per share. 1200 and let's call it $20 per share. So there you have it. That's the five, six companies I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm going to show you exactly how much I'm up on each one of these companies. And but before we do that, from Sharia compliant side of things, just to be transparent, according to Zoya, Sharia compliant the uh, standards that basically this is where we are right now. Just pause the video to watch that if you need to. Let's go and show you what, what basically this company is. So the first one, so Visa. I'm up 983 pounds, or let's call it 29% right now. Same situation with um, Union Pacific. Okay, five um, right now. I'm up 1,000 pounds. Okay. Next one is the S&P Global, 1,140 something. Okay, and then Merck, 1,163 pounds right now, or 75%. Um, like I said to you guys, this is probably one of the companies that I've been buying since I started this portfolio. And then we have um, ASML, $1,584 per share. And then finally, we have $2,985 per pounds per share of that, that I've actually I'm up right now. So 161%. This is 38%. Okay, Merck is 70 something percent. We've seen 75 percent. This one is 23 percent, and this is 28 uh, percent, and this one is 23 percent. So I'm up quite a bit in some of these companies. Broadcom is probably one of the best ones because look at this. Um, if you look at my investment right now, okay, I'm up 4,800 and something, and almost 1,000 plus of that is just my um investment the rest of it is actually gained so almost three thousand pounds of that and i've already taken some profits off the table recently so anyway what i want you to do, understand from this by doing this okay is the fact that you're buying good companies as you hold for the long run inshallah it will pay off if that's a good quality companies next video i'm going to talk about a six companies that have basically not done so well and what i'm going to do with them inshallah moving forward so if you're enjoying this type of content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and it helps, genuinely helps and kind of motivates me to keep going inshallah. If you can join us in the Patreon account, that would be absolutely wonderful. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Assalamu alaikum.